My name is uh, Nenad Boreta. I'm a lead software architect uh, working for Exact for already 12 years. Right now, I'm, I'm focusing on uh, uh, improving architecture of our corporate products and mainly looking at the integration part. Integrability and connectivity of our products is very important. And that's the reason uh, that we get in, in, in contact with Pervasive as well. Oh, conference itself is very interesting. I, I was just uh, walking through the corridor and talking to your colleague, and, and uh, she looked very busy. But from my perspective, it, everything goes very smooth. As, as, as a participant in a conference, I see it as a very nice and well-organized conference. Today I'm going to try to uh, give a presentation which is having both technical and business elements. Why do we need to integrate our products? Uh, what do we gain in that way and what value we are bringing to our customers and also trying to explain technically uh, how we architectured our integration layer including pervasive part as well. Two to three years ago we, we uh, made step back and start looking more critical to our products and we recognized there are uh, two strategically important elements we, we had we need to improve. Uh, one was connectivity and other was user experience. Uh, we invested in connectivity part, and in, a, in, in, in the same period, we actually uh, migrated one of our uh, flagship products, Synergy, from uh, one technology stack to another technology stack. During that migration process, we also uh, decided, uh, originally, uh, both products have been working on the same database. And they've been developed using the same development cycle, same release cycle, and we decided to split those two products on all the levels. So it means separate database, it means separate release cycle, and that automatically brought to us the, the integration challenge because existing customers uh, are used to use products in integrated mode. And now those are two separate things. And to explain to those customers that they have to do it differently uh, wouldn't work. So we decided, okay, let's go for out-of-the-box integration, which is something which is going to be running in the background. Customers are not going to be able to see that. And that's what we are busy with, actually, uh, just finalizing. And, and second important uh, element in, in that integration idea was uh, to open up our product for the uh, third parties integration, especially Synergy. Um, integrating Synergy with our ERP product means just staying in our customer base, 100,000 customers base. Um, on ERP side, but opening up for integration with third parties means extending that market share. About the technical aspects, well, our products are uh, well fairly uh, complex products, I would say. Uh, we have a, a layered architecture there, but we did not have any any part of the product which was completely open for for integration. So what we decided with with uh, some small smart adjustments basically introducing additional layer uh, which is becoming our exact connectivity layer and that's a kind of uniform layer which is hiding all the complexity of the product uh, behind the scene so you don't see that uh, for for exact synergy it is web service based layer for exact glow because of nature of the product itself it's not exposing web services but it's exposing services in a way and the same uh, connectivity layer is uh, like 85% is the same code and just 15% is specific for the product. So we have the same connectivity used, uh, layer used for multiple products. And on top of connectivity layer, uh, we have developed together with Pervasive our connectors. And those connectors are used for integrating our own products, but also for integration with, with uh, third party products. Uh, we had on the table option to uh, develop ourselves to buy company together with the solution or to go for partnership you know and our choice was to to, to go for partnership uh, we also uh, been looking at, at the different companies at the time and trying to find the best match uh, looking at the market segment um, and looking at the price uh, looking at the uh, history of our uh, collaboration with pervasive and, and it was not difficult to make the choice. So we, uh, we decided to go for data integrator because of uh, pervasive is having a good understanding 
uh, for our customers, our type of customers, which are smaller companies, which don't have a huge IT, they don't want to invest too much, uh, they do not have extreme technical knowledge, and sometimes for integration uh, tasks, you need to have support. You need to have a smoothly working environment, and uh, those are reasons we decided, okay, that's not our core business, we're not going to build ourselves, we're going to partner with Pervasive. It's a partnership, but it is also a business, right? So usually one party needs to finish something completely, and then second party starts building up on, on top of that. But with Pervasive, I, I, it, it was amazing how agile that, that process was, because we've been finishing maybe 10 or 15 percent of our part, and already was enough for Pervasive to start developing connectors. So we developed in parallel, and that made it really uh, saving quite some amount of time. That was something what we have not expected and that's something what was good.